Oh. He's a nice one. So if I plan this right, <laughs> what's a little fun without some risk? Uh, last night I put something up and uh, let's go check it out. Yep. I was curious to see if any critters came by through the night. Okay. Did we get anything? Uh, nope. <laughs> Just me, guys. Just me. All right, well, it was worth a try. This is just a uh, trail camera. It's basically a motion sensing camera. I guess the way they got this one laid out is these three things are the motion sensors, so it'll pick movement up on the sides as well. And then you got your main camera. And then up here, this is uh, like an infrared lighting system. So in the middle of the night, it'll cast out infrared allow the camera to pick up whatever's out there and I think black and white or something like that anything that's warm is going to show up white so if a deer walks by or something like that it'll be like that anyway um yeah this was uh something I just picked up uh recently I wanted to get it for this kind of thing and I could use this for hunting too but uh I I got a whole thing with using these things with hunting so these bugs, they're relentless this morning. Ooh. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> you can hear them. At least I hear mm. There's a little Douglas squirrel. A cute little guy. I love these bugs. And uh, finish this coffee and go for a walk. talking about right there. It's a nice rig. Yeah, even the color of that's nice. It's a little bug trap, you guys. <laughs> and that's a stellar jay making that noise. <laughs> I've seen those around a few places. Um, I guess some biologist just puts them out. They're probably doing some study on some insects, some kind. We got a bear. He's a nice one. You're not afraid. That's cool, you can hear him eating. Oh, I think he's eating skunk cabbage. That was pretty cool. Um, I was trying to, I just, uh, there's a big bear right in there. Uh, he just walked right through here. Yeah, he's going that way. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I, th I think he was going back in the bush, but he definitely came out of the bush and he was coming right in here. Yeah, but <laughs> it was just another person out walking their dog this morning and I was like, oh, you, you should probably know there's a bear. <laughs> just up there. As people, I, I feel like different about like, you know, their people are generally more apt to stay away from the bears, except for me going in with my camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, uh, you know, dogs and stuff like that, if they're off leash or something like that, or they bolt, it's not a good idea, or not a good thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, I had, a, I was like filming some less 
look at that. I was less distracted because I had let those guys know and I was getting some more film of the bear. And I totally rookie, I didn't hit the record button on this thing. So I was like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> I didn't film it, didn't happen, right? <laughs> so <clears throat> anyway, I think what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna drive a little further down the road here because um, apparently there's another campsite and um, a parking lot that's a little bit closer to trailhead and uh, hopefully it's just a little more open so that oh, there's two of them right there is less buggy <laughs> that was so cool though i was hoping my trail camera would pick something like that up in the middle of the night but uh i guess we got to see it in person <laughs> uh and, and by the way, that is a black bear. Um, so it's pretty well like, you know, two species of bear in British Columbia. I don't think, uh, yeah, it'd just be two. It'd be grizzly bear and black bear. But if you go like into um, the Yukon Northwest Territories, um, Manitoba, places like that, you're gonna have polar bears, which are those big white guys. <clears throat> um, I think those are the biggest bears, polar bears, or it'd be the uh, Kodiak brown bears, which would be up in Alaska. Huge, 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 like basically a, a grizzly bear, but much bigger. Grizzly bears, technically it's a brown bear, but you just call them grizzly because they're in the Rocky Mountains, and coastal mountains and that sort of thing. I don't know if there's any out here on the island, but I don't think so. But someone's telling me there's a lot of wolves around here though. There's, um, and that's what people run into more often than anything else is wolves. So I'll, uh, yeah, apparently this little area that we're in right now has got a bit of a reputation for that. So, um, uh, maybe we'll see some wolves, but, uh, I'm gonna get in the car cause these, these bugs are just, <laughs> This is the heritage campsite down at uh, Saint Joseph Bay, and the manager's name is Doug, older bearded gentleman. That's a pretty cool building. I'm just gonna park my van there and take a little walk. Apparently, there's a boat launch down here, and uh, a trailhead too. The main trailhead to the bay is further up, but there's a little trailhead here that joins up with that one. That's a cool tractor. So yeah, apparently down here is boat launch and uh, that trailhead. I think there might be some more campsites. Yeah, there's one right there. Now this looks pretty trouty. <laughs> Wicked. Oh man, this is cool. Oh, there's, a, there's another bug up there. 
So I'm gonna try something. Uh, it's I'm I'm waiting for low tide because apparently going out the trail and going out to this place on low tide is really beautiful. Um, and that's not until like later this afternoon. It's like 9 a.m. right now. Anyway, um, I was just chatting with this gentleman and you can put in at this boat launch and take the river all the way down there. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I got the uh, little inflatable with me, so I'm gonna <clears throat> bring that down here. And uh, I don't have a paddle though, but he says you don't have to worry about it. It's pretty shallow and uh, at best, the, when the current is the worst, which is really tame, he's like, that's when it's the tide's coming in, which it's doing right now. So I'm going to be working against the current to get out to the ocean. <laughs> it's mild, but uh, yeah, give it a go. And then he says, once you get out there, you'll, you'll understand what I mean. So I'm going to go give it a try. Yeah, I just put it right here for now. Um, I drove down this spot to put the air in it because I needed to run the air compressor. And up the way, um, there's still some people probably sleeping, but it's not the kind of noise you want to hear first thing in the morning, I don't think. So I need to go back up and get situated and um, check the regs, get my gear together, and then I'll come down here and put it in the water. Well, I just got a message from Chrome. Enjoy your travels, man. He is heading off. So I just, I'm probably staying up here a couple more days. Um, so yeah, officially, I am out here, North Island, by myself. And I'm all set for this trip. Got my phone in my little dry bag and I'm gonna bring that with me, just in case. So if I plan this right, I'll be cruising the tide current back in here later today. Kind of wish I had a motor. I used to have a, a boat like that when I was a kid. And uh, man, I love that thing. I just, I just went everywhere with that. And I do like what these guys are doing, and I'd be like out boating in the open river or lake, and I'd find a little creek, and I'd ride it up there. And, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is pretty cool, though. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. It's almost like a paddle. Here we go. I definitely need something better than this. <laughs> I wish this was a paddle so bad. I'd just be like, okay. Yeah, do the J-stroke and I'll be all good. <laughs> kinda. Actually, it kinda works just as a stick. It's not the best, but... Incidentally, all I'm using is this thing here, which is like a monopod. I normally use this for, um, throwing you guys on it. I really ought to have a better boat than this kind of thing. This is uh, fine for a little lake, but doing what I'm doing here, it's a bit more risky. But what's, what's, what's a little fun without some risk? <laughs> oh. I think I'm gonna rig up the fly rod and try that. It's a pretty small setup, so give it a go though. It's a nice slow drift. Pretty small setup, right? There's the tip of it. <laughs> uh, 
a little dry fly on this thing. But. Well, guys, this isn't working so well. <laughs> I'm um, I'm actually getting blown in back up river more than the current's taking me out, and I'm just struggling with it. I'm, I'm getting a wet bum. I have a feeling this thing is uh, got a small leak in it, so I'm gonna see if I can get back to the boat ramp and. Instead, I'm just going to take the trail out there and play it safe. Um, I'd love to go down this river and check it out, but I'm not feeling overly confident about doing it in this boat under these conditions. So maybe I'll come back here again and uh, and do it again. It's, sounds like some pretty cool stuff down there that'd be awesome to check out. That apparently you can only get to by boat. So. Anyway, leave it at that.